we first started conversations with our industry partners regarding uh, this program, it was clear to us that there was a demand that needed to be met. And so we were really excited about the opportunity to build a, a program that not only met a local need, but met regional and statewide need. This program is actually located at uh, our Occupational Technical Center, which is located on Fort Pickett in Ottawa County. There was not a lineman school in the state of Virginia, number one. Uh, there wasn't anything, of course, like this at all in Southside Virginia. To develop a power line workers program, you had to have a unique location. Uh, you have to have the ability to build what we refer to as the playground, which is the outside laboratory. SVCC has a truck driver training school at this location. So they had the facilities, they had the trucks, and they had the instructors, and they had the land for the outdoor lab. To me, anything we can do to prepare the next generation of electric utility workers, whether it's engineers or linemen or ground crewmen or whatever the case, we got to do that because what we do is important. You know, electricity reach out, reaches out and touches almost every aspect of an area's economic well-being. So an effort like this that provides kids from here an opportunity to stay close to home and make a good living, that's a big deal in an area like South Side Virginia. My dad found a um, newspaper article saying about how the shortage of linemen is gonna be over the next 20 years or so. So then I started researching linemen and I realized that's that's what I wanted to do once I read about it. And especially with the school, it's, I realized it's definitely what I'm going to do as a career. The lineman is one of the best kept secrets that is going to become well known before long. There's a, going to be a shortage of linemen here in the near future. And uh, a lot of folks don't realize what it takes to keep the power on. I think when you go and you're able to flip that switch and the lights come on, you don't really consider what it takes to keep it going. But there's a whole conglomeration of generators, transformers, wire, and poles uh, that have to work in harmony to make that you know, possible. That sort of lays the baseline for making this a reality. And um, it's, trying to find a curriculum in these areas is, it can be hard. But we were lucky. Uh, the National Center for Construction, Education and Research, which is a, an internationally known organization that provides curriculum in the skilled trades. The credentials were internationally recognized. Uh, and it would provide us the baseline for what we needed. You know, we were able to, to look at that curriculum, determine what we would need as far as tools and equipment. And we sat down and just talked about making sure we have a good balance between the time spent in the classroom and the time spent out in the yard. We looked at several modules and, and several curriculums when we were trying to decide which one we would offer at the school. And the one we settled on is, is, a, is top notch. I mean, any utility, any vendor, anywhere is going to know the certification. It provides you with a number of uh, credentials and workforce certifications that are nationally recognized and uh, that are transferable to even other careers. For example, the OSHA 10 training, the commercial truck driver training, the first aid and, uh, and CPR training. In the 11 or 12 weeks that we spend with these students, we get them ready to be employed in the industry. We basically teach them the basics of the industry and what the, what the equipment is, you know, how it operates, um, teach them a little bit about electricity of course. To me, over this program over some of the boot camp style pole climbing programs that, that I've heard about, um, I'm not into that kind of teaching. I don't, I don't like hollering at people. I like to leave it up to them to learn as much as they can get out of it to sell. We're building the program. As the program goes, it's going to be more intense and stuff, but a lot of it's common sense, a lot of it's problem solving, and uh, you get two or three heads together, you can, you can come up with a solution to a problem. It's more of a hands-on type learning. The amount of stuff I've learned in these past 11 weeks has been more than I've learned in the past four years of high school. And before this, I had no experience. I didn't know a whole lot about this. I knew some of the basic electricity, but I think it, it really boosted my resume. It's given me a tremendous head start. This program has prepared me to get my start in the um, power lineman field. It's what I plan on supporting myself and later on my family with. So it really does mean everything to me. You know, they not just get the, the groundwork and the foundation to be a great lineman, but they also learn how to interview. You know, teaching a kid after he gets these certifications how to sit in front of an employer and look them right in the eyes 
that's a big deal. Once you get out of here, that there will be people that want you to work for them. You know, they're looking for people, and this class gets you right there in the, in the front door. Ladies and gentlemen, come out of this program, they've demonstrated that they are trainable, that they're able to do this kind of work. And so the companies love them. We come down periodically and observe the class. Uh, but we've also asked the instructor for the benefit of all those hiring to keep records on all the students. Do they get here on time every day? Uh, how many days did they miss? Were they excused absences? Were they not? Are they a team player? Do they work well with others? So we're able to get all that information because of the, the small class size. So we feel pretty comfortable when we make an offer of employment that we know everything about that particular student that we may not get from a school that's a little further removed from our area. That's like I told them, that's a team. Once you join that team, you're in it for life. Once you're a lineman, you're a lineman for life. It matters not what you go to do after that. If you go into the line work field, it's not just a job, it's a lifestyle. You have to change, you have to make a bunch of changes. You're expected to be, when they have trouble, you're expected to be there. And a lot of times you have to put your plans on hold to do it. But, uh, it's, it's, a good, it's a good way to earn your pay. It's a fun way to earn your pay. And you get to have a picnic every day. You'll see scenery and stuff that you, most people will never see. It's the most satisfying career that you could ever, ever imagine. Here at the Powerline Worker School, we want the kids to know how gratifying it is. We want them to experience that some way prior to getting a job when they get out of here. To know that, hey, you're part of building the power lines and keeping the power on for people to have electricity because electricity is such a huge need in, in our world today and it's not going anywhere. People are gonna have to have electricity. It takes a, a unique individual to be a lineman. Uh, it's a tough job for tough people. If you are one of those, you can go to the school and if you work hard and pay attention, and come out on the other end with your certifications, you can begin a career that will be incredibly rewarding for you and not just in a monetary way. This is a great opportunity to take that first step to show potential employers that, you know what, this is something I really want to do and I'm interested enough where I put some skin in the game and I've spent 12 weeks at SBCC and I've spent the money and I've put the sweat equity in so that I can be a valuable employee when you hire me. So this is, um one of the very few programs that are out there that can offer you a career. You know, going through this program um, is, is the gateway to a, to a fantastic career. It gives us a certain level of satisfaction at the college knowing that we are training people for careers and jobs that are available. And uh, when you prepare people uh, well and let, uh, provide an opportunity for them to earn the appropriate credentials, they move directly into the world of work. And that's, uh, that's part of what we're all about. That's our mission, to, to provide a, uh, a strong, uh, well-prepared workforce to support the businesses and industries that are located in our communities.